right so i'll show you how to add time slice to your transitions and when we add time slice we wanted to blend both of these clips together so we can just like add it to one clip and then the other like this because then it'll still just cut here in the middle so yeah one way to do it would be to make a adjustment track if you're on vegas pro 19 or just a regular track and then right click on it go to insert and then we can animate the mute instead so you just place down a point where you want the effect to be and then drag this down to mute it and then i'm gonna go four frames also here after and just mute, mute it but when i animate time slice this way then my project crashes i don't know why <laughs> But if it works for you, then you can use this method or do the same thing with adjustment track. The, this usually works, but since the lower versions don't have it, I'll show you another method. So what we can do is just select the clips. I'm just gonna hold control and click on both of them. And then we can click on create nested timeline. So open this up and then just save it. Then to go back to your main project, click on open parent timeline. And now, now you'll have a pre-composed version. Then we can just cut out the part that we want to time slice. Like that. Add your time slice here. And yeah, usually when I time slice, I animate the slice number. So it goes from a lower slice number to them being a, a higher higher one. So let's put one here and then we can do like 10 here or 7.5, <laughs> whatever number you want to use. And yeah, you can see that if I, if I put this point here at the end, then it starts using some of the pixels that it doesn't have so you get a black background so I'll just move this point one frame back and it should be fixed now we have a pretty normal time slice but to make it look more smooth we can enable interpret frames and it'll be like really soft here And you can also change the slice direction. So now it'll go up instead. And when you want to add transitions to this, you can go back to the, the like, uh, pre-composed version. And then we can just put a zoom out here on the second clip or uh, any transition you want to use really. This is the way I, I did it in my edit. So you can just look at the values if you want to copy it. Or make your own, the doesn't make that big of a difference. And then just go back to the parent timeline. And it should look better when it has more movement. I think the preview is lagging a bit. I guess time slice is a pretty heavy effect. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. You can check my tutorial playlist for more tutorials similar to this. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye.